Hi everybody, welcome to another Carrera tutorial. I'm Kriteman, and this time through what we're going to do is we're going to make fire with our particle emitter. Now, uh, YouTube user MDiala asked me if I knew how to do it, and I didn't coming in, but I think I pretty much got it worked out now. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into, uh, I have a test plane loaded up here. Let's go ahead and jump into our shader room, and let's get started on the on the fire. First of all, let's do a color gradient and let's make orange on one side and yellow on the other side and let's make our driver cellular now one of the things that makes fire is uh, is the space in between the flames so uh, we want we want to make our texture let's kind of tweak the limits a little bit on it That might be a little much, but you you kind of work your work your uh, limits around a little bit and kind of uh, thin these lines out to get a lot better fire results. Now let's do a uh, let's do a transform and let's go on the z-axis. Let's go ahead and pump that up to five. And you notice that you have nice flamey looking nice flamey looking texture. Uh, that's what we want. Let's go ahead and copy our cellular in here and paste it in the alpha. Now, something about your uh, your cellular drivers, all your driver drivers are pretty much black and white uh, variations on whatever they are. Cellular is black and white is uh, black and white alpha, I guess, is in there. Uh, you copy that in there and it's going to put a nice little space between your flames. Let's uh, copy our color gradient and right click paste in the glow and now you can see where the where the fire really starts to come in and you can you can kind of tweak your tweak your limits a little bit more if you want to. You can kind of draw them in. Let's see what we got with our texture. That's pretty much what we want. See how that uh, looks pretty nice, right? It's going to look even better when it's wrapped around a, uh, your particles. Let's uh, drop a particle emitter in here. And let's uh, kind of tweak this around. First of all, we want it to be a metal ball. We want our particles to be metal balls. And let's go to crank the influence up just a little bit. Uh, this is one you're going to probably have to tweak around a little bit to kind of get what you want, uh, get the outcome you want. but. Uh, let's do our maximum number of particles at 200 and make note too anything that you do in here uh, we're gonna be jumping up and down the timeline a little bit you wanna always start back at the beginning before you do any changes to this uh, because it's gonna animate whatever whatever input you put in now uh, in the particle creation let's do our size at 0.10 and let's do our velocity at 15 and dispersion angle is going to be three. And I think that pretty much is that pretty much does it. Let's uh, look at a couple other things too. Um, something that that'll help affect the shape of your fire too is going to be your air friction and uh, friction on collisions, that kind of thing. Probably take the bounce all the way out of it. And. Uh, Let's see what we got here. Let's crank this up to the middle. Zoom in. Let's see what we got. Yeah, that doesn't look like uh, any fire you've ever seen, I'm sure. But check this out. Let's go ahead and bump this to the end again. And then drop this into our what? Let's go ahead and drop this into our particle emitter. Now let's bump it up and see what we got. And you notice how you have a nice kind of flamey looking flame here. The only drawback to this using the metal balls is you have your random 
splotchy group of particles that are going to come up. Let's uh, see if we can do something about that. Let's jump back into our emitter. And let's bump the influence up even more. About six. Now let's see what we got. And that that would look good on as a flamethrower, as a as a uh, you know a lighter candle. Uh, this can be used for a lot of different things. And you notice how the cellular really helps sell this texture. Uh, Putting that in your alpha helps sell the texture too. And uh, I've made a uh, I've made a little example of what it looks like if you there we go. Now if you animate it, something that you got to take into consideration is uh, that the gradient stays in uh, not the gradient the the texture that you put on it stays in place. Your particle just works its way around the shape. Around your alpha and around your um, the rest of your texture, so take that into consideration when you're doing it. Um, and something else I did with this particular flame right here is uh, let me show you some additional tweaking you can do. Let's go ahead and jump out of here. Go to the beginning. Let's go ahead and jump into our scene, and let's go ahead and jump over to filters. We're going to do a glare. Yeah. Well, it'd be a lot easier if we did it like this. There we go. And let's kind of tweak these around a little bit. Let's go ahead and make the intensity happen. Oop, auto update. We're going to make this yellow. And this is going to help sell your fire texture a lot right here. Kind of tweak the glare around a little bit. And it'll hide the fact that you're using a shader for this. Let's do glint. Now let's see what we got. Same fire, but this time with a little bit of glare. Yeah. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that was going to be a that's going to be a, a wow moment, but that was kind of lame. Uh, let's bring the intensity down a little bit. There we go. We'll just give it a slight glow or a slight glare. And the glare happens because you got the got uh, color in your glow. Your glare works around your glow. Okay, it's just FYI. So anyway, that's it. That's a simple flame with the particle emitter. Um, tweak it around a little bit more. I'm sure you can get a lot better results. So anyway, that's it for this time. I'm Kripe Man, and I'll talk to you again later. Bye.